during the 70s when the, the Bermuda Triangle books uh, were, were really hot and people were really interested in that stuff, which was great, there was a couple of oddball books written about the Great Lakes and the Great Lakes Triangles. And this was one written by a Canadian guy. That's a, this is quite a rare book. Gateway to Oblivion by Hugh Cochran. In that book, he talks about a weird thing. He talks about this bay on the Canadian side of Lake Ontario. And it, today it's kind of a national park, but in the early 1800s, according to this guy, he said people would go out in rowboats and picnic. And it's kind of a remote area, even today. But there was a couple of towns there. And they would go out, and according to them, an obelisk was in, the, in Lake Ontario. the very tip of the obelisk just barely came to the surface of the lake. And the people would go on their rowboats and tie their, their, uh, their, uh, their rowboats up to these, this obelisk and picnic. Then later a storm came and, you, and it was gone. And it was a big storm. So, that, so it's a curious idea that in the Great Lakes of, you know, of North America that there was an obelisk. They think there was an obelisk in front of Tiwanaku as well.